All right. Today, we're celebrating a momentous occasion. <laughs> Let's start over. Today, we are celebrating a momentous occasion. The return of Home Studio Quickies. All right, let, let, let's get to it. And welcome to Home Studio Quickies, the show where I answer a question that's either recent or relevant and will hopefully prove helpful in the answering of that question. This week, comments, positive comments. So on the We Will Glorify live video, uh, J... J... H V I crew. J Jiv This person <laughs> comments just came across this channel looking for advice for my new music production equipment. But nice job, bro, for real, for real. I think that's what he's saying. My urban is rusty. I didn't grow up speaking it, I kinda had to learn it. But uh yeah. Well thanks, man. I think I already commented. Thanks, yes, I did. Next comment on mapping the controls, the transport controls in Reaper for the Keystation 61. Uh, Robert says, Hi, Jerron, thanks a lot for your video. Just bought the Keystation 49 and was looking for a way to map the buttons, and your video helped me out a lot. Greetings from Germany. All right, Germany. That's, that's nice. Glad the video was helpful, Robert. Uh, next comment. On the Scarlet 2i2 setup part 2 video, you need to build yourself some speakers, friend. <laughs> well, that's nice. Um, but right now, for right now, I have the JBL LSR 305s, and I'm really enjoying those. Someday, I probably would like to try building speakers and see, um, just to learn the components and such. But for now, these, these over here, let's take a look. <sighs> these fellows here, I'll call them fellows. These have been um, my mainstay since, I want to say, late 2017 when I got them. Although I didn't start using them that much until this year. Um, the reason being that a lot of my gear was in a separate place for me. And so this year I'm really kind of coming into my own using them. Uh, right next to them I do have the Logitech Z625s. And... Um, I use those occasionally, although a lot less than I used to because, well, let's face it, the sound from the the 305s is just so much, there's there's more of a, I think I mentioned in the, the quick review, they're understated, but they kind of, <laughs> let's see, you're looking at my messy desk surrounding them here, <laughs> uh, but anyway, they, they just have a, a full range, they don't thump as hard because they're not subs, but that will be fixed once I get the subwoofer companion to these. And uh, so, yes, I'm using them not only for um, music mixing, but whenever I do a video like this video, which is um, it's coming closer to being done than it was. And uh, right now I just need to pick music and refine the edit. Um, but yeah, they, they, uh, they help in all levels of production, I would say. Well, that's all we have for the triumphant return of Home Studio Quickies, and uh, <laughs> there's more to come. And uh, I'm looking forward to getting back into it. See y'all next time.